Alfred Telefero, Mr. Telefero TV, for a more exclusive content from the kid. You can always check me out on ITSMRT.com. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. All at Mr. Telefero. All right, we're talking uh, future, the leader of the new school for the trap music. I feel like he's the leader of the mumble trap era. All right, he's been leading that for a few years now. He's earned that. Um, but a lot of people want, want me to answer this question for them. All right. In the years of 2015, 2016, 2017, there are three rap artists with number one albums. As a matter of fact, I believe number one albums, period. Um, in that three year stint, there is Kendrick Lamar, there is Drake, and there is the surprise entry, Future. All right. Future has had a number one album, I think, in, in 2015. It probably was Dirty Sprite. And then I think he turned it around and, and, and had the What a Time to Be Alive touch number one. And I mean, he's been keeping it going. And we're up to 2017, where Future's already had two, two number one albums in this year. And I think he's going to put out two more projects by the end of this thing. And a lot of people are like, why do we not consider Future as one of the top five ten mcs why does he always miss people like teller pharaoh's list all right i can't speak for everybody but i can't speak for self and i can tell you why future just doesn't make my list he didn't make my list because the music ain't sticking all right the music is not sticking to me when i lyrically need something that can uplift me when i think a top five mc i think somebody that can make me mentally go to a place that i was not able to go to myself all right who has the bars to support any stance that he might have politically um whatever's going on in the world i need that right i just can't have anybody who can say my girls are 10 drink promethazine i'm sorry it's just not enough for me i need a little bit more stick than mask off fucking mask off now when i'm in a club i'm rocking with that music if it's future playing in the club i'm there for it so to him does a top five mc even matter I, I doubt it i doubt it all right as long as you're putting out classic music like a marge madness and like a mask off two records that gonna stick and you're still able to hop in that pop world and go put out a record like i'm selfish with rihanna I think Future's good financially. All right, two number one albums, back-to-back -back weeks. He's good, and I think he could care less about the charts. But I'm just telling you, that's why we can't put him in that top five class. The music isn't sticking. There's no substance in the product. And he puts out the music entirely too quickly. I mean, sheesh, you can't really hover over a project and really buy into a project because at the snap of your fingers there's something new from future we don't have enough time to cherish the music that he does put out i think the only only project that i was able to cherish was dirty sprite 2 i thought that one hit every mark for music that you just have like trap banger after trap banger after club banger after club banger after radio hit after radio hit and then he gave us to about what september and then that's when what a time to be alive came out um i thought that was uh plays pretty well for him and marketed pretty well but still the music just doesn't stick all right and i'm and i'm telling you this drake music doesn't stick like a kendrick lamar's but at least in, in the past drake has schematically been able to have records that stick like um the the record he has talking about his moms of course the entire take care project pretty much is about women doing him wrong there's a record from time to time or a bar from time to time where we're where Drake is airing out his real life situations that he has going on and what he's dealing with. I think he used to do it a little bit more in the past than he does now. But I mean, Drake has earned his, and rightfully so, because his hits are transcending. Like, right, Future can have a hit in this country. Mask Off's a hit in this country. Of course, it'll reach certain other areas, but Drake is transcending music, all right? And I think that's why we consider Drake a little bit more in this class over Future. And Kendrick Lamar, I mean, the guy's putting out bodies of work, and he deserves that. If Even if, like, To Pimple Butterfly it wasn't for me, but I understand why somebody would like the project. There's substance in everything he does. Kendrick Lamar could have been the king of mainstream hits, but he gave that up to put out music that actually uplifts the people. And when you hear records like DNA, it just, it's just uplifting, and I respect Kendrick for that. But that's why Future can't be in the top five when we talk rap, because there's no substance in his, in his product. It's great music for the time. It's party turn up music. And Drake's falling closer in that future path than he is the Kendrick Lamar path. Let me make that clear. 
But I mean, for right now, you, you just can't put Future in that class because the music ain't, it ain't sticking. It just doesn't stick. If you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone, if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast, if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids, if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand, make sure you hit me up at booking at Again, that's booking at